Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. This is a news update for Infolive TV, July 17th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. U.S. President George Bush expressed hope that a strengthening of moderate forces among Palestinians will lead to the formation of a Palestinian state in the West Bank and Gaza. Hamas must recognize Israel, he said, and called for an international Mideast peace summit. That will include Israelis, Palestinians and representatives of neighboring states to be chaired by Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Hamas spokesman in Gaza, Sami al zuhri said President Bush is leading a new crusade against the Palestinians and said that the group will neither recognize the occupation or give up the armed struggle. Barring any last-minute obstacles, Israel plans to release 250 Palestinian security prisoners on Friday, including 11 minors, in accordance with an agreement between Prime Minister Olmert and Palestinian President Abbas. Meanwhile, over 100 of the 180 Fatah fugitives Israel will grant amnesty to have laid down their arms. A house in Sterot suffered a direct hit on Monday when three rockets were fired at the western Negev. No one was wounded in the attacks. The house in Sterot suffered structural damage and several residents were treated for shock. Former British Prime Minister Tony Blair is to arrive in Jerusalem to begin working as the Quartet Special Envoy in the region. Blair has taken upon himself to establish Palestinian institutions as a basis for the future Palestinian state. His mission will be officially launched at a meeting with the Quartet Ministers in Lisbon on Thursday. Hezbollah denied on Monday that officials had told French Foreign Minister Kushner that the two IDF reservists held captive in Lebanon are alive. Kushner told a press conference that Hezbollah delegates attending a conference on Lebanon had given him the understanding that they are alive. Hezbollah denied giving any information to him. The consumer price index for June proved to be the highest in the last five years, gaining 0.7% and reaching 100.1 points. Officials attributed the sharp rise to the climbing dollar rates and increase in petrol prices. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, a year after, tense calm prevails, a video on the Second Lebanon War. And the great debate, IBA radio director Yoni Ben Menachem and Hannah Signora of Ipcri discuss the Palestinian divide. Today the whole world talks about Israel, but who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.